Hey everybody, welcome to our homestead here on our beautiful rancho in Mexico. So today is a really special vlog. My suegra is making her Mexican rice and you guys, this is the best rice you will ever learn how to make. I have had rice in several different places. Every time we go to a fiesta, someone's house, it is never as good as my swag desk. So this is a really special treat that I could convince her to teach you guys. So she's actually up the road right now getting some baby stay from the butchers and she'll be back in just a minute and we'll get started. Here are some of the things you're gonna need before we get started. You're gonna need cilantro. We had a little bit of an onion left, some ajo, which is garlic, nor suiza. Um, and then I like to use fresh tomate, but my suegra likes to use the puree. So we're gonna get the puree, which it probably does taste better with that. And then you have your rice. This is our favorite brand of rice. It just cooks better. But I don't know if you can only get this in Mexico. So you guys let me know, because I've never seen this brand in the States, but it's our favorite brand here. This is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some aceite. All right, you guys, I needed one more cup of coffee, my second cup. If you haven't watched it enough, you know that I love coffee, especially coffee in Mexico, because my suegra isn't back yet. And I was just telling my husband the other day, when I drink my coffee, I like to have them in these clay cups. I don't know why, but it does taste better. So like, we have these clay cups, but also my mom gave me one of these from the States. And I don't like it in this, like at all. I, I don't even, we just use that for water, I think. They taste so much better in here. All right, you guys, so I was just going out the door to see um, if my suegra was coming down the road yet. And let me show you who is at the front door. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's kind of like our front yard puppy. So first thing you're going to do is two cups of rice and she's putting it right into the strainer. Es un proceso muy fácil. She said the process is it's too easy. Too easy. Ponemos aceite. A little bit of aceite, and the aceite fills the whole pan, and she's gonna let it warm up for a minute. Nada más que quede ya durito que despegue, ajá, pero no lo frío mucho. So she's going to fry the ajo, which is the garlic, with the rice. And she put um, one thing of garlic, like one little piece. And she's gonna leave the rice for a minute just to let it sit and fry. It's gonna start to turn a light brown color, but you don't want it to burn. So two cups of water for one cup of rice. Mm -hmm. So since she used two cups, she filled this with rice two times. You're going to use four cups, the same cup of water. My suegra puts hot water in there. She waited until about halfway through to put the onion in because you don't want the onion to overcook. You want it to cook in with the water. Okay, now this part's important. Take that piece of garlic out, put it in there. 
then she's gonna smoosh it in. And that garlic has a different taste now that it's been cooked. Mas, they like it's the more favorite in the ranch. Okay. This part's important too, you guys. She puts in. It's okay. Uh huh. And you put it in before the agua. Por qué? Por qué? Uh huh. Para que un poco y le sabor. Uh huh. So the sabor, like the flavor of it, mm -hmm. tastes better. So that's gonna be another key, you guys, is putting that tomato puree in before your water, and I can smell it. It just gives it this, just like when you're um, frying up the garlic, it just gives it a different flavor. It's so wonderful. And now she's gonna put in the cups of water. She only fried this for about 30 seconds. Good. She hasn't even put salt or anything in it yet, and it smells so delicious. So she said, "La agua está caliente," and she's putting in hot water. Two for one. Two for one. Two cups of water for one cup of rice. Okay. Es muy fácil. Es muy fácil para mí hacer el arroz. Oh, well, Christian's looking for breakfast. <laughs> Y dos chiquita cajas de nuez suiza, sí. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Dos cubos de nuez suiza. Es todo. Es todo. And now you'll let it cook for maybe five minutes high and then low. Sí. Ajá. Cuando empiece a hervir, entonces le bajamos la llama. Ajá. Para que se cosa suave. Okay. Lo tapamos. So she's gonna put a top on it. She's gonna cook it on high. It will start boiling, and then she might do give it one more little mix, get that norsuita good, and then put it on low till it cooks through. Sí, cuando empiece a hervir, le bajamos y le tapamos. All right, you guys, so that was really special that my suegra just taught you how to make this because this will be the best Mexican rice you have ever had. I've had it in different places with different people. All over Mexico, I've had Mexican rice. This is my absolute favorite sí. and my kids. Las personas, ¿quién hizo el arroz? ¿Quién trajo el arroz? <laughs> And I didn't want to make it because even though I know how to make it like her, it never turns out the same. So now you guys have a secret rice recipe. If you guys make this, let me know and let me know how much you loved it. Okay. Also, ya hirvió, ya bajamos la llama y lo tapamos. Okay. So she moved it from the hot one and she moved it to the smaller one and she's just going to let it sit low until it cooks all the way through. And the kids have been asking all morning for grandma's rice. And also, Cristiano just brought in the miniature chicken eggs. And my suegra is going to make him omelet real quick. And um, also, I think she grabbed chicharrones from up the road. These chicharrones. Okay. 
¿Qué? Alguilla de puerco. Oh, no es chicharrones. Sí, es chicharrones, pero oh. la parte que traje es alguilla. Thank you. Thanks, pumpkin. Right from outside? Yeah. Oh, these smell so fresh. We should make key lime pie with these. Oh, here, put them up. Sí, del árbol allá. Trozo de corazón. Oh, a piece of the heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby, what? <laughs> Por eso no les quiero decir. <laughs> a piece of the heart. Grandma's cooking it. ¿Te gusta mucho, verdad, Pipi? <laughs> ok, eso es todo. Tenemos una salsa. So, none of the meat is wasted here, you guys. There's, there's a piece of the um, heart. There's tripa, which I think is intestines. And then there's just the normal deep fried meat. Nothing is wasted. And everybody loves all these pieces of meat. They're all good for you. And they're fresh. That's the other thing. Um, these animals had been butchered just the day before. So it's like every two days an animal comes to be butchered. Ayer cocinamos papas con queso. Uh, que voy a calentar para acompañar los papas. Ah, so she has papas and queso that are gonna accompany the meat for the breakfast. And then this is queso de Oaxaca. And you can see she just peels it. Sí, vamos a poner un poco más en las papas. Para que tenga mejor sal. And this is from yesterday, so she's just gonna warm it up. She moved this again. She's going to put it super, super low. Almost like it's just steaming. And then this is our favorite cheese. We get it from the Peloma in Ocotlan. Mm -hmm. And um, this cheese has no preservatives. It is fresh. And I don't know if you've ever had fresh queso without preservatives. It is so Good, you guys. It has a completely different flavor. Las otras que tenemos, rápido se parten. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ask where we get our clay pots. So there is a little tienda in Ocotlan where you can get them at. But also, sometimes indigenous people that live up in the mountains or in different areas come through the ranches, their whole entire family, and they have all their handmade clay pots. And when they come through, you take the opportunity to buy them because they're some of the best ones. They don't always come through. Like this year, I have not seen them come around. I haven't even seen them in Ocotlan. Um, but hopefully, they will come through soon. And it is amazing. They they don't even speak Spanish. What is the language they speak, Hilta? No sé. ¿Quién? When the people come, the indigenous people, to sell the pots. Ah, no sé qué lengua hablarán. But Pero it, no hablan español. No, it's not Spanish, it's different, and then they walk through, and a lot of them have um, babies in the back that are wrapped in cloth, and the little kids are holding pots as well, and so it's really a gift when they come through the ranch. And All right, you guys, so the rice is ready. My suegra is putting the meat on top of tortillas right now, and we are going to let the baby go out until breakfast is done. It's a piece of heart meat, but that's not what you have to eat. Okay. From a piggy. Oh, I know. Annabelle! Guys, while school's out, this is what our summers look like. The kids just... Annabelle's getting guayabos, fresh ones from the top. Yeah. Thank you. <gasps> Peepee's really upset about this pig meat right now. And then Cristiano is normally out here all day helping his dad. And then look at the little baby Pop Pops. Hi, Pop Pop. And I am going to go let baby go out in the front for a little bit. Baby. Baby. So, Baby Go only likes to follow Annabelle for some reason. Look at how good she looks, you guys. Come get her, pumpkin. Annabelle's going to come get Baby Goat soon right in the front. Come on, Baby. 
There she goes. Come on. The baby puppies have never seen a goat. <laughs> what do you got? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She, they still haven't seen Lalo. No, but they haven't seen the goat. Oh, maybe they just don't care. I'll eat that. See this. Hi, puppy. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's seen it. Look at his turn. He's laying too lazy. He's too lazy. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he going to bark at it? Hey, look at it. it thinks it's like sneaky walking. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, watch out. Uh oh, the goat's not sure. The goat's not sure. I know, but be careful, okay? The goat's hiding. She's nervous. She's gonna stay still. Yeah, there's that. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Naughty little babies. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Goat's hiding behind Cristiano because she's scared of the puppies. Oh. It's funny, the only thing they can really like run after is the um, baby chicken. Hi, babies. Hi. Oh, were they? Oh, no biting the baby chickens. We protect the baby chickens. What is you doing? What is you doing? Ay, qué hermoso el pajarito, qué hermoso el pajarito, sí, sí, sí. Qué hermoso, qué hermoso el pajarito, sí, papi, sí, 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 sí. Sí. ¿Vas a qué, hijo? <laughs> Come on, Nina. <laughs> Cristiano thinks it's like funniest thing ever. <laughs> All right, you guys, so everybody's outside just enjoying the beautiful day, and I don't always... Yeah, pumpkin? Let me see. Uh-oh, let's see it. Oh, you got it? Thank you. Wait, give it to Daddy. Daddy has all the other ones. This is what a fresh guayabo looks like, and the inside is pink and delicious. You guys, we're gonna head back inside because Grandma has breakfast ready, which when Abuela makes breakfast is always a lot better than mine. Let's check on the rice. Ooh, look at that. It smells so wonderful. She has fresh cilantro y limón cut up. 
Annabelle's gonna cut one of the wayabos open I for you, so you can. White, so I might cut this one off. So you can see. I don't so, think this one's very white, but. But that's what the inside. Yeah. This one's a little bit there, they. But this is what the inside mm, looks delicious. like. Is it delicious? She mm. eats it right from the tree. I like to squeeze out the inside. Do it the seeds and everything. You even eat the outside of it. Yep. Smells so good. Oh. <laughs> Grandma has it. She already chopped it up, buddy. Oh, yeah, you'd need at least 15 for Hugo. I have one. Don't eat this. Keep this. Okay. Okay, you only have one. You just had three. You ate them all? Yeah. The key? Las pinzas. The no. Oh, the little pinchers. Mm -hmm. Yo no sé. Okay. Poquito cilantro, no tengo cebolla. Oh, because you use it for the arroz. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is salsa from yesterday. Oh, and look at it. Oh, we have more right here, too. But I want to be the queso. And then we're going to get rice ready for the little girl. Oh, I ate three of them. Yeah, I had two. I had three, and I ate two. Yes, we do. Look at it. Oh, we have one, but it has a little one. ¿Quiere arroz en un lado? Sí. Textura, solamente les gusta eso. Eso. My story is saying this is the rice they like. They don't like it. Different textures, different colors, different flavors. This is the one they like. They'll probably eat about three bowls of these. With tortillas and chile. These are the chicharron tacos. And tripa. And corazón. Mm -hmm. A little bit of mix of everything. Cristiano just Daddy, loves it. I got one. Oh. Papas and queso. Ooh, yum, yum. ¿Cuánto por la 50 breakfast? Pesos. 50 pesos for this breakfast for all of us, you guys. So good, huh, pumpkin? So good? Mm -hmm. You guys, while everybody eats, I'm taking Abby up the road to the little tienda because she was not feeling good last night. So me and her are going to walk up to the little tienda. I'm going to get her something to drink, maybe a Pedialyte, which here is called Electrolyte. Um, and then I have a couple exciting things to talk about. Ready? It is such a beautiful day out, you guys. And I'm still wearing my Ariat boots. They are so comfy. I even wear them for walks in the morning. <laughs> Are you guys right here? It's a pomegranate tree. It doesn't look like any are close enough. I don't see any. Hi, baby.
nopales, chiles. Gracias. Hey, yo, come on, you can't be in here. All right, and it looks like Veduda is here today, too. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Veduda comes to our plaza, which is vegetables. I think right now twice a week, so Tuesday and Saturdays. And it's like, you guys can see how fresh the vegetables are. I can fill up a whole entire bowl of vegetables, probably for about $5. You don't want to dance? Okay, so this morning my suegra came for the chicharrones, but you can see that they're empty now because people come too early in the morning to grab them. And then this is the fresh meat we get every day. And you just tell them. So we come in and I'd say, un kilo de viste. And then she'd cut it right from there onto her cutting board. Diez millo. Diez mil? Diez mil? Diez millo. Diez mil. Diez <laughs> millo. But that is a fresh meat we get every day, and they weigh it right here. So, like I said, none of it's prepackaged. You say, un kilo, she takes it off, she slices it right here like these pieces, she scales it, and then she'll bag it just like this. And then this is also where they make molida, which would be ground beef. They make it right in front of you. And then you grab it and you bring it to your house. Y una coca. <laughs> Gracias, Lorena. Hey, hey. So she's gonna, she took me, this is the back of the butcher shop, and this is porquito. Porquito de que? It's fresh every day, you guys. So she has the hose going, there's the drain. It gets cleaned every day, and then they butcher the animals right here. And then from here, it goes right next door to where I just showed you the meat. So everything is very fresh. And then this is where they cook the chicharrones. Manteca, so, manteca. Manteca. De, del puerco. Manteca de puerco. De puerco. Puerco, it's hard to say. Al hombre, al hombre. And this then, chicharrón. So right here is just the middle of the road. And then she puts all her wood under here in the fire. This heats up. And then she puts this on top. And this is where they cook the chicharrones. And everybody comes during the day. And then from here it goes up to the butchers. Isn't that so cool? And you can smell it as soon as you wake up in the morning. All right, you guys, so that's our butcher shop, and it was so cool. I got to just show you a little bit more of it because um, the owner was there. So I was like, oh, can I come and take a video real quick? But we walk up here every single day for fresh meat, you guys. Um, so I thought that was just cool to show you. It's so different from the States. I don't know, and you guys let me know, I don't know if there's anywhere in the States that still has butchers like that. And because in the States you're so used to it just being packaged and it says it's good for however long, it is best to have meat fresh as soon as you can, as soon as it's butchered. And like I said, an animal gets butchered every two days. Um, so every day we're having fresh meat. It doesn't even need to have an expiration date on it because it was that day or the next. All right guys, so now that breakfast is done, we went up to the little tienda. It is time for me to get started on some chores. I have chores every single day, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. So here on our rancho in Mexico, in Mexico, um, the teachers here give each class a school list. And so that list just has certain things each child needs. Now me and my husband are very blessed that every year we can get everything on the list. But um, so how the teachers communicate is they'll send the list, you have a group WhatsApp, so um, for the fourth grade or the third grade. And um, a couple of the moms were saying how 
the list was too long and they were not going to be able to afford everything on the list and they wanted the teacher to bring the list down. Now, when I tell you guys a list, the list is not really that long, um, but it is hard for people here to be able to buy everything on it. And, um, so what I, somebody suggested to me that I make something called an Amazon wish list. And what I would really like to do is make this Amazon wish list with the list that the teachers gave for each class. And if you guys would like to, you can send those items to me and then I'm gonna be going back to Michigan at the beginning of October because my daughter Abigail needs to be updated on a couple of immunizations. <laughs> So that's a whole different story. But I will be there beginning of October for about a week and a half. So I'll be able to pick up any supplies you guys send for the school. And that is gonna be a blessing going to the school, um, to these families. I'm gonna bring it right to each class. And I'm just gonna tell the teacher, whatever kids were missing something, whatever kids didn't have this or this, I'm bringing it in the class so they can have it all year long. So if you guys would like to do that, I'm gonna put the Amazon wish list, um, hopefully in the description. I'm gonna have to figure out how all that works. Um, but that would be a huge blessing to the families here in Mexico. I am also going to be buying some school supplies as well for the school. And I always like to buy books in Spanish because they don't have a library like most schools do. So normally my family buys books in Spanish and then they will be in the classroom and the kids love them. All right, you guys, so if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Let me know where you're watching from. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know if there's any more recipes you want to see, and I'll be getting that Amazon wish list up. But also, maybe you are a teacher, and maybe you know some of the things that would benefit the teachers and the children here in our little rancho. So you guys just let me know. Give me some advice and some ideas on that, because I would love to be able to bless the school with some more supplies for all of these children. Um, even certain things like me growing up, I would get a new backpack every year. And my husband, this was the first year him going school shopping with us because normally it's just me going. So when we lived in the States, my husband worked and it was just me or even like being here, my husband might've been in the States working and I would just go school shopping. But this year, my husband got to go with us and he could not believe all the things you get for school. And he was like, I had the same backpack. He had the same backpack for like eight years. And he's like, I had one pencil and a notebook. And so he was just surprised all the things kids need in school now, even in our little rancho, because there is nothing electronic here in school. There's no computers, no laptops, no nothing, not even in the higher grades. There's no like computer lab room. Everything is done on paper. So these kids do need a lot of pencils. They do a lot of art projects. They do a lot of things like that. So like I said, I'll be in Michigan beginning of October, so I'll be able to pick up everything from the P.O. box. Um, and then if you do send anything from the Amazon wish list, or if you guys just have any ideas of what the kids might like or need here in the rancho or the teachers, you guys just let me know. And thank you everybody who supports and loves our family. I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you get to try the rice.